Yo, 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 what's going on with y'all? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Money Making Marlo. I got a homie here with me today. You know what I'm saying? Who are you, bro? Yo, it's Cliff. Okay. How's everybody doing? <laughs> okay, okay. Big man Cliff, big man Cliff. How you feeling, bro? What's the vibes like? I'm good, bro. You good? Nothing new, nothing out of the ordinary? Uh, I'm heading stateside on Monday, bro. Sheesh. Yeah. You're moving to the States. Yes, yeah, sir. Where in the States you moving to? Florida, bro. Home. Florida, back home. So what? Like, what's what's wrong with E Town? Why are you moving? Why are you going to E Town? Nothing. Or why are you leaving E Town? Yeah, nothing's actually wrong with E Town. Mm. Like, I've always felt pretty comfortable in Edmonton and shit like that. But like, there's no place like home, you know. Ooh. Any uh, if you're allowed to speak on it, where specifically are you going? I'm going to Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Fort Myers yeah, Cape okay. Coral area. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. How far is that from like Miami and shit? That's like Miami's the other side. Miami's like the the furthest south in Florida. Like obviously you know that shit, but it's pretty far. It's like two hours. Like Florida's Damn. a big state, you know. So, so right now you sound how you sound. Do you think you're gonna be sounding like Kodak and Jack Boy and all them niggas when you get over there? I think you gotta get with the lingo a okay. bit, you know. But like, you can't, you can't fake it. Mm. Like, I can't tell. Like, like, let me know what you think. Is mm. it faking it, or is it like, is it who I am? Like, when you get over there, like we're born there, you know, and shit like mm-hmm. that. But like, are we not more Canadian than we? Nah, are? we were way more Canadian. We're, than we're, yeah, we're more Canadian. You know, like yeah, yeah like. We're both born in Florida and shit, but my nigga, we're yeah. Canadian. Yeah, we gotta that's, accept it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, how you think you're gonna sound like? Like, what are some of the lingos you got? You got to catch yourself saying. I just got to catch, like, the actual lingo. Like, you could say, like, not every Florida nigga sounds the same, you know? Mm. And, like, I just got to see how the lingo, like, you don't, un- like, when you're talking and shit like that, mm. when you're picking up lingo, you don't know it's in your vocabulary that, uh, until you're saying it, you know? You want to know what's crazy? What's I feel like right now, uh, like, let's say a year goes by and this goes up, you're going to listen to your stuff a year later be like, Damn, I sounded like that. I sounded like a bum. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that one, but, like, obviously, I'm going to sound different, bro. Uh. And, like, obviously, like, obviously, when I touch up, back down to Edmonton, I got to turn it up a notch, you know? Okay. Well, okay. What, what does know. that mean? How are you going to be turning shit up? Like, like obviously, the swag's going to be a bit different, you know? Mm. Like, I'm going to be there for a while, and, like, I got to bring some of the Florida swag to Edmonton, yes, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 100%. Um... Like, is there anything else specifically you're excited for? Like, the females, the food, the vibes? I'm excited for everything, bro. Mm. Like, I'm just excited to, I don't know, see more, you know? Mm. Like, obviously, like, we left we left Florida when we were young. Like, we have, like, very faint childhood memories and shit like that. But, yeah. Like, oh, no, you just, t- you, went, you went last year. You went this year. I went, yeah. I was there February. So, how was that for you? Right, like, shit was feel? nice. Literally, soon, soon as I touched down at the airport, yeah. it's just... Everything hits different. Right. When you listen to Kodak, it hits different. Right. When you listen to Glock Nine, it hits different. Everybody hits different when you when you're listening to the the state that they from. Right. You know, but it's just I went there when COVID was bumping, when COVID was the shit. Yeah. And Florida was the number one hospital pl- yeah. place to be. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy because at first I was like, man, maybe I'm wilding for going to Florida. It's a dumb idea, my nigga. Niggas was making fun of me for wearing a mask. You know, Tripping. that's that's how I knew niggas didn't give a fuck. Yeah. But over there, it's one of them places. Was like, if you haven't been, you got to go to it. Right, bro. They they fly planes like like ordinary niggas like me and you could fly a plane if yeah. we wanted to. They don't give a fuck, bro. It's they G- don't. It's a state that like it's GTA, bro. They don't <laughs> fuck, bro. You can do what you want, my nigga. You let's say you're driving and you cut an old lady off. She could shoot you, bro. Oh, bro. She could spray you down. <laughs> and like the type of shit that's crazy over there. The legal shit they have is shit that that sprays. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. But but can you see yourself clutching on a Thule over there, my nigga, or what? I feel like it depends. Like obviously, like I don't know. If you have your own crib, obviously you gotta like stay strapped. You gotta protect what's yours. You know, shit like mm. that. But it's gonna be such a big change that I don't feel like I don't feel like getting a Thule right away. Mm. I gotta get I gotta get situated. But obviously you can't get a Thule like right away. You yeah. Gotta, you gotta wait, right? What what type of niggas you think should like? be having some shit like that i feel like everybody should have the right whether like, whether you living like that or not you think everyone should have it on them oh 100 percent 100 percent. but like obviously you gotta you gotta know like the consequences and you gotta respect of course what it is you know so like so like flashing and shit like that posting it on instagram and shit like that that's probably like a pass for me like, i think that's just <laughs> kind of clownish but it, like, that's shit clown that's like, all it's for you it's know? hella Bro, you let niggas know what you have, how right. you have it. And then right. when they get caught, niggas say, 
y'all snitching on me. Yeah, yeah, Who's yeah. y'all, bro? You're snitching on yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, okay, do you feel like Canada should be less, more loose on gun laws? Because hmm. the way I be thinking about it is guns don't kill people. It's people that kill people. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. what, what do you think? Hmm. Should Canada be more... Like lenient, like more allowed, mm, like that. Allow, like you know, allow us to walk around with it. But you know, when niggas are fighting, there's no more bear macing or stab. You just getting shot. Yeah, for real. You know. But what do you think? You think it make any difference for the good, for the bad? I, I think feel like, like pretty much the states is like the biggest country that's like on the whole like carry your own like mm. concealed carry, open carry, and shit like that. All these other countries like don't really rock like that, and I feel like it's been working for them. You know, mm. like you should have the right to protect your home, but at the same time, like there's certain places where it's like it's more likely like shit's gonna happen to you. You know, if you have it on you, yeah. Like yes, there's people sir. in Canada that have them, have it on them, mm. like it's just not registered and shit like that. You know, I mean, I ain't gonna hold you. There, there be times like when I when I was in the states, like my brother in law always had his on him, right? Unless let's say I would carry it or just hold it, nigga. I'd feel 6'9", 310 pounds, waiting for a nigga to test me. It's exactly. like the power it gives you, bro. And right. you know niggas that that type of shit get, get to their heads and shit. The same power you feel, another nigga feels. It feels the exact the same. same. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, sheesh, I don't know. I, I ain't gonna hold you. There'd be times I'd be reading um articles on the States. This happened. A whole church got shot. This and I'm like, thank God I live in Canada, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta worry about none of that type of shit. Right. That's, you know? that's, that's what I think. Like, you live in Canada. Like, mm. how many times have you feared for your life in Canada? Mm. You might fear for, like, a situation popping up or some shit like yeah. that. But you don't fear for your life, you know? Mm. As opposed to, like, in the States, there's, like, certain places, like... Like, say you live in, like... Yeah, say you live in Florida or say you live in Atlanta, you know? Mm. Like, if shit's... If a situation's getting weird and shit like that, like, you don't know what could happen, you know? Mm. So it's a different type of fear. Like, shit could pop off, pop off. Mm -hmm. As opposed to here, shit could pop off, but you could still... Like, navigate a situation differently, you know? Okay, now, nah, okay. We all know it's illegal to carry it out in the streets. You can't have it with you unless you're going to gunsmith, the range, or the shop. Right. You know what I'm saying? How do you think niggas get it over here? There's tools everywhere, bro. Mm. There's straps everywhere. Like, like all the straps really come out of Vancouver, bro. You think so? Like the port and shit. Like, Jeez. That's where, like... That's where two, I don't know. That's that's where Thule's come in and shit like that. Like, yeah. There's Thule's in the fucking country. Trust me. Yeah. So if you had to snitch on someone, who would it be? I couldn't do that. <laughs> one. I couldn't do that. One. Why? <laughs> if you, if you put bad, yourself bad. in a situation where you have to snitch, you're already fucked up. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Okay, boom. Let's let's say you're in a situation. Um, your homies did some wild shit and it's only you that they cut and you're facing 10 to life. Are you telling? All you got to do is give the name of the nigga that had it. Are you doing it? I can't do that, bro. Uh -huh. I don't, like, my whole thing is I'm not getting put into that situation, bro. <laughs> but that's a tough one where like, it was bare niggas and only you got picked up, you know? That's a, mm. diff that's a different one, bro. So, that's a sticky one. Because, okay. <laughs> bro, I don't know. Shit like that is like, yeah, I can't put myself in those type of situations, nah, my nigga. Fuck nah. that. You know what I'm saying? Um, are you are you vaccinated? Yeah, I got both my shots. Oh, man. you got both? Yes, sir. You sold out? I didn't sell out, bro. I had to. For what? Nigga, to fly. My to nigga, okay. Uh, I remember earlier you said you got to get your rapid COVID test. Right. But you're double vaxxed. Right. Why you got to get that if you're already vaxxed? So, yeah, like, I wasn't sure about that either, but, like, apparently, like, now, before you even travel, like, internationally, you have to have both shots fully mm -hmm. vaccinated so you have to have both shots yeah. your second shot you have to wait 14 days after yeah and then you're considered fully vaccinated but to travel you need another test to prove that you're don't you, you think don't that's too much it is too much but well, like at the same time much. it's just like it's just not over nah it's not over bro but okay the thing i don't get is um uh there's a shorty that i know her sister has no vax no nothing mm -hmm. she just got back from miami two weeks ago and she lives in Van right now. Yeah, you can rapid test. So, like, you could still travel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like, but you could get a, around it. But, like, say, like, they want a, a test within 24 hours, proving mm. that you're negative and shit like that. But oh, like, they're still doing it like that? They, I think so. Like, it depends. Yeah. It depends. Like, she went to Vancouver, you said? No, no. She uh, she flew from Vancouver to Miami. Oh, okay. And then after the, the week, you know what I'm saying? She flew back from Miami back to Vancouver. Right. But they are really, like, tight on the restrictions and shit like yeah. that. So, like, for me, like, I just... 
I had to get my shots for work anyway and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't really tripping. But like, what yeah. did Duke say? I know well, they the shot. Ass. Yeah, they all they, they got him, bro. Everybody got it. Everybody. Your little sister, your brother, everybody. Yeah. As soon as it was available. No, 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 no. Like we all got it at different times, but like Jeez. I had to get it, you know. Uh, did you get the bread for it? Because I heard you get a hundred dollars per shot. <laughs> no, like so, like recently, like yeah, there's a, a a bill. They give you a bill to get a shot. Yeah, which I think is kind of like it's kind of funny. Like yeah. it's kind of sketchy, you know. Why? Why you say that? No, because like like they're paying you for your fucking your body, basically. Like mm. I don't think anybody. Like some people probably did it for the bread. It's like it's like they call it like an incentive, right? Mm. If you go get your shot. You get a hundred bucks, but like I, th- I think it's kind of fishy, you know. My nigga, that's that's why people are so hesitant in taking this whole shot, cause like yeah. my nigga, y'all paying me, y'all saying I can't fly, I can't do this, I can't do yeah. that. If I don't take it, yeah. There's it's, something it's funny about army, that, bro. It's forcing you. Yeah. Like even like to work, you need to have your shots, you know. Like I understand like both sides of it. Mm. You have to be like you have to be open minded. Like all these people that think their opinion is hundred percent right, like nobody's hundred percent right. My nigga, know? I got um. Uh, there was this other shorty. Uh, I got into a big ass fight with her because she asked me if I was vax. I said no. Mm-hmm. She said it's people. It's because of people like you. You're stubborn. This and that. People like you. We still have to be worried. Right. And I said to her, "What are you worried about if you if you're double vax? Right. I could cough in your face right now, but you should be fine." Right. And she's like, "That's not the point. What are the other? What about the other people?" Mm-hmm. And I said to her, "When you got the vax, did you get it?" For other people, or did you get it so you can travel? Right. Just be, this, for the sake of the argument, she said so for other people. I know she was lying, bro. Yeah. Because she's been talking about a trip to New York and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? I mean, long story short, me and the shorty got into a big ass fight about this, about that. And it's just crazy how, like, this shit is separating people. Yeah. This shit is really separating. Even at the food court at West Dead, and, and I was in Calgary the other day. You need to show proof of vaccination and sit down and eat. Eat some bullshit ass food. You gotta prove, <laughs> prove you're vaccinated, bro. My nigga, I paid eighteen dollars for me and a shorty to eat. I was pissed, bro. As I was eating the food, my nigga, I'm like, wow, like this shit tastes like hot ass. What the Bourbon Street Girl? That's your yeah, spot, right? bro. That's my go to. That's like, your shit. It's max. You don't fuck with them. Oh, it's just hard, bro. It's just hard, but, but sometimes like, it tastes like good. water. No, sometimes it tastes like water. <laughs> No, you never feel satisfied after eating something in West End, bro. That the food court, bro. And especially because like, everything is so taxed, bro. What do you think that's about, bro? Mm. Like, every time you go to the mall, you're like... Like, I don't know. It's just like... It's like a thing to stop by the food court. Even if you're not hungry, mm-hmm. it's always just like... I, bro, I, I think it, it just might be... You might just see other people eating, so you're like, damn, if they eat... Oh, yeah. I guess I'm hungry. Yeah. Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Type it's shit. Just program to, like, think... Think that's normal, mm. like like if it's a it's a thing because the f- food court's always packed with people, you know, mm-hmm. and like the malls, like every, I don't know. Yeah, you know keep, what I'm trying to say? Like no, everybody you. stops, like yeah, let me thinks about it. Let me ask you something. This is, this is kind of off topic, but like high school days, right? <laughs> was you one of those kids that when you went to when you went to the cafeteria, like whenever people went to West End after school, right. they'd always go the the cafeteria. The first one was the hot spot. Mm-hmm. Was you one of them niggas that begged people for junior chickens and shit? Yo, give me a dollar, oh, give me a dollar, bro. give me a dollar eighty. I couldn't do that one, bro. Like, <laughs> like, cause like obviously I went to Shep, right? So mm. like, so like the, the the most bumping spots at Shep were mm. like the, was the calf, yeah, and like the book loft. Like my Shep people would know like what the book loft was. It was like the library, yeah. Well, like it was like the library, but it was like low-key like a chill spot, you know, like mm. where everybody just cooled it, you know, like yeah. when people ditched and shit, like link, link the Cushman and shit like that. <laughs> I don't know. Shit was crazy back then, but like, like as you're saying, like the the Westmont McDonald's and shit like that. Yeah, used to be packed at lunch, bro. But you know, like, packed. like same thing. JP, JP had a McDonald's, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like the we, one we we have one in West End, and we have one nearby the school. And it was a, it was a scene, you know, bare oh, niggas like and shit time. like that. Yeah. And bro, the thing is, it got to a point where niggas, not even McDonald's, there was a Seven Eleven beside it. Yeah. Niggas was steal so much, yeah. they made it so that we let you got to leave your backpack at the front. Oh, bro, the Westmont Dollarama got stained on the daily, bro. <laughs> On the daily, like, I know the niggas got pissed. Oh, devious looks, bro. My nigga, if if you wanted to learn how to be a crook, going to Dollarama West Dead or the one by Chef was the spot to go. Yeah, you know what's the funny shit though? Uh, fucking clowning the niggas that got back stealing shit. <laughs> that was the funny <laughs> shit because it could have been you too, bro. It could have been you too, but like, imagine, bro. And the thing is. I know a majority of the niggas I went to Shep had fob parents. Right. So I know once you got, got in trouble for stealing, they they call home, do whatever they did, and now or they put you in mall jail or some bullshit. Oh, yeah. And now your duke's gotta come and get you. But imagine getting caught stealing at Dollarama. 
How embarrassing is that, bro? Embarrassing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever got caught? Stealing? Yeah. A dollar roll? Yeah. Not a dollar roll. Where at? <laughs> <coughs> fucking, uh... Damn, nigga, going into it, dude. <laughs> uh, fucking Marshalls, bro. Marshalls? Yeah. What'd you take? Headphones, bro. <laughs> Was it worth it? Like, at the time. Like, if I got away with it, would have been worth it. But you know, like, you know those times, bro, like... Like, high school days were different, bro. Different. Because, like, niggas were, like, broke. But everybody was broke, you know? Mm. Like, like going back to what you're saying about, like, the junior chick and shit like that, like, you would break bread with your, like, your your actual friends and shit like that. Mm. But you wouldn't ask, like, somebody you kind of know for a, a dollar or two, yeah. you know? Yeah, I mean, JP niggas was a little different, bro. There'd yeah. be niggas, as you're eating, they stare at you like this yeah. and wait for you to be like, yeah. do you want one, bro? Like, what are yeah. you doing? Like, a nigga would be breathing your air in your face like this, yeah. bro. You know, I feel like I always had like a couple bucks in my pocket. You know, you did, like a couple. Bro, let me tell you something. Like not always, but obviously, you know what I mean. A little bit ago, um, <laughs> a little bit. This was like grade eleven, grade twelve. There was this dude that I went to school with. We all used to walk to West Ed because West Ed and JP is like a fifteen minute walk, and right. the only thing separating it is like this big ass bridge. Right. They cut the bridge off now. Nah, I don't know why, but anyways, <laughs> we get to. We get to the mall, we make our way to the cafeteria, woo, 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 there's a whole bunch of us sitting down. My nigga, everybody's starving. Everybody. Mm-hmm. This one nigga was the only nigga employed out the whole group. Yeah. We're sitting, nigga has fr- I'll never forget this. He has fries. He has two junior chickens. He, ha- he has um, um, ice cream McFlurry. Yeah. And he had a fruit, um, a beef wrap. So yeah. like, this nigga just had everything. Everything, yeah. Bro, all four of us, you could hear our stomachs growling. We look at the nigga like this. One of the niggas reaching for uh, a fry without asking on everything I love. Yeah. The nigga drops his burger, slaps the shit out of the nigga's hand, bro. Slap the shit out of it. Like, damn, bro. All for a fry? Like, Stop fucking touching. Bro, the nigga picked up his shit, went to the next yeah. table. Yeah. All for a fry. And that shit made me think like, damn. That nigga is that slimy, bro. If the nigga won't give you a fry, what no. like what type of nigga is he He's different in type life? Of nigga. He's different type you know of what I'm saying? Because one day that nigga might need a fry, bro. Bro, what, what you think about? <laughs> would you give it some? Yeah, like the thing is, like, like it goes back to like always looking out for like your friends and shit like mm. that. So like it would be like one day you would have ten bones, and then like your homie might have zero. Yeah, and it could flip, you know. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just nice to like fucking just break bread with your homies and shit like that. Like back then, because like if you had if you had a couple bucks and you could have some food, like. And your homie asks you for a bite. It's just like it's like whatever, you know. Like mm. you can't really trip over that and shit like that. But like that nigga probably wasn't his friend. I am. That wasn't his nah. man. Like, yeah. Yo, keep keep it a hundred. Um, are you the petty type of nigga? Let's say there was a nigga you offered him, or he you try to get something off him in the past. He said nah, and now it's your turn. Would you would you do the same thing back out of pettiness, or would you? Or what would you do? I don't know, nigga. You know exactly what you do, bro. It's, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't take shit like that to heart, really. Mm, you know? So you would share? Depends. Like, yeah, honestly, that. Depends. I ain't sharing shit. You know, you know what used to cheese me? Like, the only mm. thing that used to cheese me is, like, like niggas owing, like, bread. Mm. Like, even if it's, like, little bread, mm. it's, like, it's like principle, you know? <laughs> My nigga, when, <laughs> when a nigga owes you bread, bro, that nigga won't view your story. He won't like oh, your pics. He no, won't check. Bro. bro, you called the nigga. His number don't exist anymore. The nigga, like, the nigga will walk past you, not dab you. Like <laughs> so, like, nigga, I know what that's about. You know what that's about. Like, it bro. used to be, like, little bread, like, five, ten bucks, you know? <laughs> It'd be some petty shit. It'd be yeah. some petty shit you didn't want to give to begin with. Yeah. And it's, like... Niggas, niggas will get give you an attitude for you asking for your bread. Nigga, I'll, I told you I'll give it back. Yeah, like, yeah. nigga, give me my shit back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bro, overall, I hate niggas, bro. <laughs> are we trying to say that's the end of the podcast? I hate I niggas. Do, bro. Nah, bro. It's just, some niggas are iffy, bro. Like, there's just niggas. Yo, bro, I'm going to be there at 545. It's 9 o'clock. Oh, I'm a late nigga, bro. <laughs> no I'm a late nigga. I bro, I had, I had a homie. This nigga's name, I'm gonna put him on. His name is Stefan, French nigga, bro. Rwandian, Rwandese. Uh, no, Burundi. Burundian, Burundian. Yeah. nigga. This nigga, from the moment he said this to me, I never looked at him the same again. This nigga said he found it disrespectful to show up on time. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga found it disrespectful to show up on time. So if you had something at two, the nigga said, out of respect, he's showing up at four. Yeah. Picture that, bro. Picture you, you, need, you got an emergency going on, and the nigga shows up two hours later. I don't know. Got- tra- For me, like the thing is, I don't try to be late on purpose. Mm. Like it's just color people time, bro. Like mm. there's black people all across the world that like feel this shit. Like 
you know what I mean? Like, if say you have a GP or something's going on, it's not like you're late on purpose. Mm. It's not like you're, you're ready. Like, you're, you're all, like, have all your clothes on and shit yeah. like that. And you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just be late, you know? It just always ends up you being late and shit like that. that you know? No, shit just happens, bro. My nigga, um, I already told you this, but I'm going to just say it today again. My nigga, I was making my way to my chiropractor, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I I usually take the hen day, right. but today, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck it, bro. Let me just take the the yellow head. The yellow head's closer to the crib because niggas move, you know? I, I get off the yellow head. I'm on 170th. And anybody that lives in E-Town knows 170th is west side. It, it goes straight to west dead. Right. Nigga, I get off 170th. I'm making my way. I drive a blue Pontiac G5 mm-hmm. or Pursue, whatever you want to call it, two-door. There's another Pontiac G5, but it's a it's a... Uh, what do you call it? Kobo. Chef yeah. Kobo. Orange. Two door. Same thing. Shorty gets on the left lane to turn left. But I guess... Uh, I thought she was turning left. I guess she didn't know the left the left lane ended. Bro, I guess Shorty just said, fucking turn into my lane. Yeah. My nigga, this bitch scraped the shit out of the side of my car. Did you see the side? Did you look at it? I looked at it, yeah. What'd you think? She was tripping, bro. She fucked <laughs> the shit up, bro. My nigga, the car went from being green to orange. Like, whatever her color was. Yeah. And then I noticed this girl was so slick with her word choosing because I kept on saying, like, so who's at fault? I know what I can't crash. I can't hit you if I'm going straight. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? She's just like, we'll see what insurance says. Yeah, yeah. Ah. She's smart, though. She, nah, that's she's what, smart, but that's that's she, it. it just pissed me off because you yeah. know it was your fault, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could not have hit you, bro. I was on one lane. Right. You know? Right. But it's just like, what, like, I guess now we'll just take your insurance and just see what happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was really thinking about, like, should I snuff her? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm playing, but that shit, that shit just had me like, why, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what are you in such a rush for? Yeah. And the thing is, her car had like two, three scratches. The whole side of my shit is orange. The car was green. It's orange. Tripping, bro. You know what I'm saying? Edmonton, like, Edmonton drivers are kind of shaky, though, bro. Like, they are. You get into situations where you like got out of some situations, <laughs> you know? Like, sometimes, like, you're driving and, like, you know when you drive and you like zone out, mm. like you're in your lane. Like you're not, I'm not saying you're driving like swerving and shit like that, but you're in your lane mm. and you like you see somebody like going into your lane like and slowly. You just hesitate, bro. You out don't of your know peripheral, the... you know you're like, What's yeah, you story? hesitate. First thought goes through your head: Is this bitch about to hit me? <laughs> Second thought is: Okay, close. They're getting closer. Third thought: Okay, even closer. <laughs> then your fourth thought is: Fuck it, let them, let them hit me. Let them let, let them let them like catch me off for this whip, mm. or. Or you try to swear and shit like I don't know. Like I've been in a situation yeah. like that. Like, it's just, man, and w- w- when that bitch hit me, it's like metal on metal collision, yeah. clunk, yeah. loud as shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, no fucking like. I'm literally sitting there in disbelief. Like this bitch just hit me, and there was at least 18 niggas behind me. What they all do? They just looked at me and drove by. Oh, bro. they go about their day. Yeah, bro. but niggas, don't, unless your car's doing this on the road, niggas don't give a fuck. Niggas will really mind their own. Nigga, what would you do? Put, nigga, I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, they were, that's what they were thinking, bro. That exact same sentence, bro. I got shit to do. Bro. I got shit. No, but that's the way we live in, bro. Like, if it's not really stopping you, why should I stop? Yeah. That's if, it a, if it was a serious one, people would have stopped. No, I know. I know because you know? um, when that motorcycle shit happened, my nigga, I was a starfish on the floor. Yeah. This one nigga stopped the whole... I guess it's different when, when you see a body on the ground because right. your guilty conscience would be like, bro, you really let... You don't know if you're yeah, alive yeah. or dead. Right, Niggas right, right. could still be there for all you know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that shit, that shit was just hella different. But yo, What's up? um, I just want, I just want to talk to you real quick about all this. You know, get get a quick update on how Florida is gonna be. And when I touch down, I want to have you back on. Course, I want to see bro. if the lingo's change, if you're clutching on a toolie, yeah. if you've gotten uglier. Damn. You know how it goes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, overall, you think you, this Florida thing is going to be better for you overall yeah. or you think you're going to miss home because yeah that's home but this is home home no but like i like i admit that like mm. i know i know this is home you know what i mean but like at the same time like i think it's gonna be better for me because just because <clears throat> it's a change of pace mm. and sometimes you need a change of pace like mm-hmm. getting comfortable is good but it can also be you try to step out of your comfort zone step step yeah step okay. out my comfort zone but at the same time like i feel like okay so you just when you went like, obviously, you were stepping out of your comfort zone, mm-hmm. but you became comfortable pretty quick. 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 Like, within the first day, you're like, okay, mm-hmm. like I'm just back. I'm just adjusting and shit like that. So, for me, like, it's stepping out of my comfort zone and shit like that, but, like, I honestly see it as a necessity. Like, it's mm-hmm. something I have to do, you know? It's something that, like, 
Okay, like, I just see it as, like, we left when we were kids, mm -hmm. and it's, like, it's coming full circle. Like, now we're adults. I feel like you've been wanting to go back. Been wanting been, to go. Like, been years, not even months, years. Bro, when, we, when I dipped, like, mm -hmm. when we dipped Florida, like, me and my family and shit like that, it was quick, bro. Mm -hmm. It was, like, like, obviously, your dukes are talking and shit like that, but you're too young. Yeah. Like, I was, I was eight or nine years old, you know? Yeah. So, I'm just living my little fucking life with my big-ass head. Just fucking <laughs> yeah, playing around and shit like, like Oversized. It's oversized, for Trust sure. Me, Humongous. <laughs> No, but, like, to be honest, like, we dipped within, like, a month. Mm. Like, so my life changed from, like, what I knew it as to something completely different, moving yeah, to yeah. Canada in a month. I like, we went to Montreal first. It just changed so fast. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like, I don't feel robbed of what my life was. I feel like, what it's always, like, what could have happened. What could have been. What could have been. Bro, I know for sure I would have had wicks. I just know yeah. it, bro. And I, I feel like. Because me, I'm from uh, Naples. I was in Naples. I right. feel like at some point, if I stayed, I would have been in Miami. I right. probably just would have stayed in Miami. Yeah. You know, but, like, besides, like, my sister and cousin in Miami, the rest of my family is in Naples. Yeah. All of them are in Naples. The only people I got in Canada are my two sisters and my mom. Yeah. You know, besides that, everybody else is in Naples. So, if I got dropped off in Florida, I'd be fine. You'd be fine, yeah. You know? Gucci, yeah. Until I get back up. But um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, when I touch down, I want to have you back on mm -hmm. and just, like... Obviously, being a different scenery, maybe do the podcast outside your crib, bro. Right, Something. Right. And while we're doing it, I want you to have the handle, the tulip sticking out, bro. You know, keep it up. I got you. Can I hold it for if the podcast? I, if I have one by then. Okay. Can it be loaded? Nigga, one in the chamber, bro. Say you less. Say less. Go. Just in case niggas trying to pull up. Yeah. You know how it goes. But, yo, it's your boy, Money Making Marlo. It's your boy, Cliff, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. All right.